Uh, we do want to get now to another person who knows Aretha Franklin very, very well on the mm -hmm. music side of things. A man by the name of Mark Pastoria, who has won numerous Grammys with the Queen of Soul, her very own self. Uh, we want to thank you so much for joining us this this morning. Uh, a very somber morning indeed. Yes, it is. Good morning, and uh, yes, it is a very sad morning. How are you feeling? I got the news right before your call here. Well, Mark, can you talk to and, us uh, a, a little bit about your relationship with Aretha Franklin, the projects that you worked on with her? Yeah, I was uh, her vocal engineer for about four years and worked on quite a few projects with her, uh, with a lot of great producers and artists and uh we had a, a good working relationship, and um, she was just a great person. Very, very good to everybody, the, uh, the singers, the musicians, the engineers, uh, very respectful of everybody. Tell us what it was like being uh, in the studio with her working on music. We know that she loves to eat in the studio. She keeps it at a certain temperature. Describe what it was like being able to witness uh, her musical genius. Yeah, she was very aware of, uh, um, you know, the climate. If it was cold, and, and that's when I started working with her, it was in the winter, and she didn't want to leave the house, so we would bring uh, the recording equipment to the house. And um, it, it was just, it was great working there. Um, and when we, when we did work, it was very serious, and... Uh, yeah, it was very serious. And then, and then afterwards, she was, you know, she would cook food for people, and she'd have food in the kitchen, and made sure everybody was eating. And so afterwards, it was uh, a good time. So, were you, Mark? We were, were you were you in awe of her talent? I mean, we we look at what she accomplished over so many decades. I mean, from the '60s and the '70s. Yeah. I mean, constantly coming out with hits and projects and collaborations. Were you just amazed at the longevity of her career and and how talented she she was for all of those years? Yeah, and while we were working, it it didn't really hit me. It was afterwards when we were working. You were, you know, it was it was serious. And uh, you didn't think about all those things. And then when you got done with the song, you then you go home and you listen to the music. You go, wow, we were doing, you know, I was sitting there with Burt Backrack and Aretha Franklin. <laughs> wow. Vocals and listening to tracks. That's when it, you know, that's when it kind of hit you. Can you tell us what you projects really you worked on with her? What songs? Uh, we did A House Is Not A Home for wow. the Luther Vandross tribute record, oh. and that was with a producer called Reef Martin. Beautiful. Wow. And um, that, that went really well. That was good. Her final album was called Aretha Franklin Sings the Great Diva Classics, an album that she released just a few short years ago. But we also know that she was in the middle of, of recording an album, uh, had several songs recorded. Do you have any idea if those songs uh, would ever surface? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know who the producer was on that project or how many songs they recorded. I'm sure we'll be hearing about that soon. All right. Um, but Absolutely. she was always working. Yeah. And uh, very hard worker. Always working. Absolutely. Recorded yeah. right here in Metro Detroit, actually, day. in Dearborn. Well, Mark, we thank you so much for sharing your perspective. And I know you'll be taking the emotion in over the next days and weeks. And I know you were just hearing about the news right before we called you. So thank you um, in the midst thank of you, you remembering such a wonderful woman to take time to talk to us about your relationship with her and what she was like to work with. Yes, and prayers go out to the Franklin family today. All righty, thank, thank you, you so for much. having me on.